Welcome to the Shipyard Maine Coast Marathon from Kennebunk, Maine. The Shipyard Maine Coast Marathon will start in front of Kennebunk High School and head south on Route 35. This first section of the course will pass through Kennebunk Center, run by the Wedding Cake House, before heading west on Route 9. The race starts nice and flat, even slightly downhill as we start to head south on Route 35 or Fletcher Street. I'm going to go around this rotary and just continue south on 35. The Shipyard Maine Coast Marathon features extraordinary views of the ocean and the Maine coastline. We're also going to pack, pass through some quaint city centers in Kennebunk and Kennebunkport. Now as we cross through mile one, take a quick look at your watch and make sure you're not running too fast. Many times you can get caught up in the excitement of the event and run way too fast for the first mile. As we continue south on Route 9, again just slightly rolling terrain through this section. Coming up on the left is the Wedding Cake House, built in 1852. It's the most photographed house in the state of Maine. Right about here is our first water stop. It's important in a marathon to take on water, even if you're not thirsty early on in the race. You want to make sure you can stay hydrated for the entire event. Now the charity partner for the Shipyard Maine Coast Marathon is the Southern Maine Healthcare Center for Breast Care. So some proceeds from the event will support this great cause. As we continue to head south, we're going to quickly pass through mile four and our second water stop. As we approach Lower Kennebunk Village, Now stay on the right side of the road as we'll be taking a right on Western Ave or Route 9. Now if the marathon is just not enough of a challenge for you, this event features a 39.3 challenge. There will be a half marathon on Saturday and the Shipyard Main Coast Marathon is on Sunday. Runners that can complete both events will receive special awards and recognition. So if you're crazy enough to enter a half marathon and a marathon on the same weekend, please consider the 39.3 challenge. So we take a left on C Road. The next section of this course will follow the main coastline from Kennebunk Beach to Walker's Point before returning inland to Route 9. Now as we continue down C Road, we're heading towards the water and the coastline as we cross through mile 6. Again, just slightly rolling terrain through this section of the course. Now, as you come up and over this rise, look in the distance, you're going to begin to see flashes of the water. And then you're going to be faced with an incredible view. Look at that view in the distance. If you take a left on Beach Avenue, this Kennebunk Beach will be on your right hand side as you pass by another water stop. Again, make sure you take on water at this point in the course. Just beautiful homes on the left and Kennebunk Beach and beautiful views of the water on the right. Make sure you take a second and look to the right and just enjoy the view. So cross through mile seven. Again, now it's perfectly flat through this section of the course. Again, hopefully you've had a chance to settle into a nice pace. Now, if you're traveling to this race with someone who may not be ready for the marathon, the Shipyard Main Coast Half Marathon is held on Saturday, the day before the marathon. The Half Marathon is a different course, but features the same incredible views of the ocean and the main coastline. So just keep that in mind. At this point in the course, we're actually going to head inland as we hug the Kennebunk River and head towards the center of Kennebunkport. Crossing through mile eight. Again, just slightly rolling terrain through this part of the course. Now stay the right side of the road as we'll be taking your right on Western Avenue, Route 9, and run right through the center of Kennebunkport. 
Now, as you can see, this is a very popular area. Many shops and restaurants. And if you're in the area, I would highly recommend you visit the town of Kennebunkport. It's a great place to walk around and grab a bite to eat. Now we're gonna bear the right and continue on Ocean Avenue. So we work our way through the center of town. Across through mile nine. Just a beautiful area to run. Beautiful homes on both the left and the right. Beautiful views of the Kennebunk River on the right hand side. The road narrows just a bit through this section as we continue to hug the coastline, crossing through mile 10. Just incredible views off to the right on Old Fort Point. This section of the course is probably my favorite. Just incredible views of the ocean on the right hand side. Beautiful homes on the left and right. As you can see, many people walking around and checking out the incredible views. Cape Arundel's on the right hand side. You can see in the distance off to the right is Walker's Point. That is the famous bush compound and where the bushes stay when they're vacationing in Maine. You'll always see a lot of people taking pictures out in front of the compound. Now at this point in the course, we're going to start to head inland, away from the coast. So we start to head towards Route 9. Now the Shipyard Maine Coast Marathon has also been named the 2015 RRCA Maine State Marathon Championship. So in addition to the overall and age group awards, the RRCA, which is the Roadrunners Club of America, will also be giving out awards to first place in the Open, Masters, Grandmaster, and Senior Grandmaster divisions for both male and female. So as we continue to head towards Route 9, you, as you can see, this is probably the most rolling part of the course. There are no major inclines, but several rolling hills that will test your legs over the next few miles. Cross through another water stop. The next couple of miles will have some rolling hills, so it's important not to go too hard. You can serve some of your energy as it is still very early in the race as we cross through mile 13 and reach about the halfway point of the event. Now stay the right side of the road and we'll be taking a right onto School Street or Route 9. The next section of this course follows Route 9 as we begin to head north and towards our finish at the University of New England. Now for the next five miles we're going to follow Route 9. As we go through another water stop there's going to be some rolling terrain and this is probably the most crucial section of the race. There's no turns, and there's just gentle rolling hills for the next five miles. We stay right on Route 9. It's very important in this section to stay mentally strong and keep your pace right where you need it to be. You don't want to let you start letting your pace slip or let your mind wander. This next five miles, you got to really concentrate. Again, you can see there's some rolling terrain through this section. Up here, we're going to bear to the left as we pass through the small coastal village of Cape Porpoise. Take on water. Again, continue to take on water throughout the race. You don't want your time to be hurt or your race to suffer due to the fact that you didn't take on enough water or hydration. You cross through mile 16. Again, we just wind our way through the neighborhoods of Kennebunkport. Beautiful wooded area to run in. We cross through mile 17.
Again, another water stop. There are plenty of water stops on this course. So again, take advantage. Cannot say it enough to take on water at each and every water stop at this point in the race. Now, right after mile 18, stay to the right side of the road as we'll be taking a right on Dyke Road and we'll leave Route 9 as we start to head back towards the coast. The next section of this race will head east towards Goose Rock Beach and the coastline before returning to Route 9 for a couple of miles as we continue to head towards the University of New England. Now the road's gonna flatten out just a bit as we start heading down Dyke Road towards the water. Salt marshes on the right-hand side. As we cross through mile 19, nice and flat through this section of the course. Now as we take this left on Kings Highway, you'll notice beautiful homes on both the left and right. And on the right-hand side, you'll start to see glimpses of the water again. Goose Fair Bay is on the right-hand side. Just beautiful homes on this section of the course. And nice and flat. As we take this left, we're actually going to head inland for a couple of miles. Just slightly rolling terrain through this section. Mile 20. Just 10K to go. At the end of the road, stay to the right as we'll be taking a right back onto Route 9. Cross through another water stop. Again, very important to maintain your concentration as you run down Route 9. Now, soon after you cross through mile 22 and another water stop, stay to the right side of the road as we'll be taking a right and heading back towards the water in Fortune Rocks Beach. The final section of this course follows Fortune Rock Beach before heading inland past Biddeford Pool and onto Old Pool Road before finishing at the University of New England. Now you can see in the distance views of the water as we're heading back towards the coastline. Just gorgeous views on the right hand side. Look at that view in the distance, just incredible. Hopefully you're still going strong at mile 23. We run along Fortune Rocks Beach. Perfectly flat through this section. Again, watch out for the speed tables. Make sure your feet are lifting up enough to step up and over those tables. Take in the smells of the ocean. Hopefully they will invigorate you as you continue to head towards the finish. Again, nice and flat through here. Now as we cross through mile 24, we're actually going to take a left onto Bridge Road. Bitterford Pools on the right-hand side. Now at this point in the course, the road's just going to kick up just a bit. After taking that left onto Bridge Road, just know in your mind that you're very close to the finish. Stay the right side of the road, so we take a right on Old Pool Road. This is really the final road on the course before we hit the campus of the University of New England. Now, Old Pool Road does have some rolling hills. So you have one last and final challenge. It's the last 1.2 miles to go. Just a slightly rolling terrain. Old Pool Road twists and turns all the way to the University of New England campus. Take on some water at this final water stop. Now, as you can see a break in the trees, this is the campus. Now we're gonna be taking a left on the Hills Beach Road. There'll be just a very small rise as you cross through mile 26. We're gonna take a left into the parking lot. And at the end of this building on the right hand side, we're gonna take a right and continue on a pedestrian path. Now, as soon as you get on this path, if you have anything left or if you're running for your PR, now is the time to pick it up. Just a couple hundred yards to go. You're going to cross right underneath Route 9. Take a left after Sokokus Hall and sprint to the finish. Thank you for viewing the Shipyard Main Coast Marathon.